Good morning, everyone. Oh, yeah, I still love the uh, giant red laser beam we have now. So, in the last part, we finished up the Subcon Forest. In this part, well, we have a lot of choices. We can go to any of the remaining areas except the Twilight Bell, because that has been um, a bit too difficult for us to do the first time, because it required full speed, and I'm not quite 100% used to the control stick. Uh, sorry, the keyboard yet that I've had to switch over to. Since my controller was acting up too much. So, I mean, we keep seeing it in the pictures. Yeah, that one we're not doing. Oops, I wanted to actually zoom in on it, but that's fine too. That one we could do, and then we've done the lava cake, so the only other... Oh, it's right there. Let's go, um, well, whichever we get to first. I mean, it's going to help that we're heading in the direction of the blue one. So it's more than... Oh. This is not the hat to wear for this area, I don't think. Yeah, look at that. We're already almost at the blue one. Let's just do the blue one. I don't know why Lava Cake gets done first. Is it just the closest to the blue bell? But there, where the goat outpost oh, horn. Uh, we'll put on the dweller's mask. Because, I don't know. In this area, it's the one that's been most used. So, any of those lighter colored ones look like they're going to fall on us. Well, uh, fall if we cross them, in this case. Oh, before I go much further, we can actually turn off the scooter and put on the fast hatter patch. That's just going to be because that's how quick it'll recharge now. Oh! There's a horn at the top. I gotta get back used to the platforming because you saw those last two ones didn't really have any um, major platforming for us to do. So I, I got a little rusty because it's been a while since I did that. I want to line up directly under this. Okay, we can hop over. Oh. Right on it. That looks uh, interesting. Oh, I overshot it. Where is it putting me back? Way back to the beginning. Oh, I don't like that habit. But, I mean, that definitely did happen with the Twilight Bell a lot. So, I can't be too upset with this. And we still have enough heart pawns, which is... should be useful. Some of the bridges are old. We saw that earlier. But we can get a piece of brewing yarn. This is part of the reason I wanted to actually maybe do... Oh, well. Goodbye, me. Oh, or not. I guess because we made it as far as we did. Um, it was going to play nice for us for a bit. I guess because we hit this area. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do some other ones first. is because I wanted to try to get some more yarn. Because uh, we still don't have... Oh! I like that as a method to deal with those birds. Does it work on these guys? Eh, too hard to aim at them. Birds, however, not that bad. Alright, so we're still headed towards the horn. Oh, which is up there. Oh, I am not a fan of heights, and this is not helping me uh, become a fan of it, I'll say it that way. But, I mean, it is a little easier now that I'm more used to the control scheme. Take it! I meant to just click to hit him, but... 
I'll take the um, aim. Ah. I don't think it does anything special, me hitting them, though. See, I can't go directly under it, but... <clears throat> um, missed? Oh. Yuck, and because it was from up there... Oh, but wait. Can I just sneak my way up? I don't know. It's not looking like there's any sneak your way up path. Yeah, no. We'll go the we'll go the right way, which apparently includes uh, jumping almost to your death. Actually, compared to the Twilight Bell, and this is still us getting there, uh, it's not that bad. The Twilight Bell uh, wrecked us a lot more. Even the Lava Cake did. Uh, with there, you you have to jump off these spider things. So I can I can be okay with this so far. I mean, technically speaking, we haven't reached it yet, so I shouldn't be too too happy about it. But I don't know. Like that wasn't too killer. That, however, was a lot easier than the way I tried. But, with this, we can sound the horn, which will complete this area, as well as split off the blue so that we can head to the final area, like, to the further area. So, we want to swap our hat over to the ice hat, and fly our way down. I do enjoy the fact that you need to have the grappling hook for this. So there's no way to do this short of doing the subcon well. Even if you have as many times as you need to unlock it, you need to have done the subcon well to do this. And you can see there's two little arrows down at the bottom, right on the bottom left, bottom right. That's how you decide which direction you're going. And it gets us to the old windmill. I wonder, because we've already got, I think, every other um, thing you can get from the badge seller. Um, I wonder... Oh? Interesting. I didn't know that, that was a, an option. <laughs> ah, but, okay, game. I'll take it. Yeah, I didn't realize that you can just ride this top. It looks like you have to. So I shouldn't be too surprised. But. He does not look happy to see us. Switch back over to the Dweller's Mask. Oh! Maybe we didn't need to do this, and it was just for some time stop yarn. Requires 32. How are we at? We're 24, so we're 8 away. So, oh, heading all the way up to the top. Oh, do we need to use another... Yeah, it looks like there's another um, horn for us to hit. So, we gotta go for another horn. This is starting to be a little more time consuming than the Twilight Bell was. But, I, I don't know. Take care, kid. I wanna... So, we can see it looks like there's some bandit things here. And supposedly, those are signs that there's gonna be some enemies that are coming to attack us later. But uh, I've never been able to spot them as we go. Maybe I'll get lucky that 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 guy. 
maybe I'll get lucky as we go. And I can't even target them short of them being visible. But it does seem to only be one of them here, so I guess it was just uh, them teaching us about these guys. And there'll be more on this area. Including one who has my hat. So, because he stole my hat, we have to kill him first. Get back our hat. One of the few times we were without our hat. Eh. Two episodes in a row we lost our hat for a bit. But, we can play another horn. I don't think there's anything else hidden in this area for us, though. That's gonna be nice. Uh, we'll know once this strips all the way out whether this area has been completed or not. It has. So let's head back. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any shortcut back. Like the ice path last time. But then again, it's a pretty short path to begin with. There's where our introduction was going to be. So we can take this path back up, and we already saw the blue one up there. It's a little annoying to get to, but I think from here it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, we, we can make it most of the way back up real quick there. The windmill. Alright. I mean... Already, we can tell this is going to be a longer episode. I think all of the ones from this area are going to be longer. Um, because, well, it's this much work to get to it, and then we have to actually start the mission. The downside of it being a, um, yeah, the windmill. We had the Twilight Bell as well that we've seen, but the windmill has yet to be seen by us. And you can hear him already. This place is huge. Uh, it, it looks like it. I thought we were close to it. Nowhere near. Oh, but the badge seller. Hello. Disregard. So, the one-hit hero and the mumble badge. The one-hit hero is a pretty cool badge. Um, basically, everything is now a daredevil combat. Uh, comment from. Uh, Mario Galaxy. You get hit once, you lose. AKA a badge that you'll never see me put on. Ever. Uh, we're actually gonna we'll run on the outside first. See if there's a, a shortcut in. Or not. That's sealed. It's not like the other one, we can't just uh, hook shot to that and go all the way up to the top real quick. Uh, let's actually switch our hat to the sprint hat. Make give us a little more s speed for this sort of thing. Especially if it's going to be a large area, I think speed is going to be helpful. Uh, looks like a safe landing area to start. And I think as we go up, those will uh, disappear more and more. Oh, that looks like some yarn. Maybe it was a token. Wasn't paying enough attention to that. Oh, this one. Yeah, you have to you have to fall and use your double jump at the right point. Unfortunately, you can see this one is going to have checkpoints for us to use. Oh, in which it's needed because already you've watched us fall. Alright, we can see. Oh, they went that way. I was not prepared for that way. I guess I... oh, yeah, it does not help uh, the size of my control button versus my shift button. Yeah, the control button is much bigger, and the shift on this one is too small. 
yeah, we did. We lost out on that. What would have probably been a relic? Nothing else important. Uh, because we've gotten all. Of, sorry, a rift token, not even a relic. Oh. You know, I kind of want to go after that thing. Can I get to it? Oh, because we've already reached the top up here, it's not going to let us backtrack that way. Alright, so that's going to be something for the future for us to grab. What's out here? Nothing. It's a it's a weird looking window. Alright. Ooh, another healing. It looks like all these statues are, have healing with them. Sorry, you jumped at the right spot, which means you no longer can use that path up. But, I mean, this part is easy. It's a circle. It's going to keep you pretty highly balanced up there. I think the, the big issue is going to be when I start falling uh, large distances down, not these small, um, easily recoverable things. So, by the next checkpoint, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Hey, you're a lantern, you should be giving me a checkpoint. Isn't that how the rifts work? Oh. I'm glad that you know, like, yellow is the side you stand on. That is at least helpful for us to find out where we're going. Now, I missed out on the one on that floor beneath it. I kind of want this one, which means I guess I have to go through here. Okay, you can't click it or anything there. And if you go too low, you're falling to your death. All right. Another yarn. What is this one? More time stop yarn. That looked yellow and orange, so uh, that I can believe it's time stop. All right, looks like this is just another way up to where we are now. I was gonna say I'm like what? Okay, so without changing your camera angle at that point, that's a, a dangerous um, jump. Good to know. Good for it. Blue. <laughs> Poor guy. You, you can see he's like, just programmed to fall the second I see one. So. Now we have to hit these. And they're, they only move based on the other one. So, now that both have been hit, they can both make it to the end. Alright, so this thing. I guess that's what we're supposed to be jumping and climbing on. But it just looks weird to me. Alright, it, it was the case. I'm not worried about what's in that thing. It looks like we're pretty close to the top. We've got our cannon. I think we're fine. Uh, let's go up here. Alright. So. Alright, we gotta jump onto this yellow one. Oh. I am not a platformer. I will say that every time we do one of these uh, difficult levels. And this world is built for platformers. I feel like there was more to that than I did. Oh, am I supposed to be up a floor? Oh, out here. Alright. That's not terrifying looking at all. 
Oh, but it, it restarts me up here. One more time. Yeah, I think I'm getting uh, wiped up by camera angle more than anything else. <laughs> Alright, do I respawn right where I just was, or right at the beginning of the windmill? I'm at the bottom. Oh no, I'm not at the bottom. Okay, I'm not as far down as I thought I was going to spawn at. Yeah, I'm not as far down as I expected to drop. Um, to the point where, oof, oh, I was say we're, we're already back to where we were. We're not quite back to work. But I don't see it taking too, too much longer. I was mistaken. Okay, how am I, how did I do this the first time without like any uh, mix up. That, that game, you, you let me up and then you drop me down. Good enough. Why do you build me up, build me up, just bring me down, and fly me around, I mean most of all. Alright, back up here, should be fairly safe now, because I believe where we died was right here, at the eve of the loom. I have no idea how you're supposed to know to double jump or single jump for that, because it's not a very um, visible difference between a double jump and a single jump for the balloon. At least, like, with the... With, like, um, what they call the grappling hook, you can save yourself with the click at the right time. But with the double jump, if you miss it, you're dead. I guess they potentially could have made it so there's no point you need to double jump. And they may actually have made it that way. But, um, I don't know, it, it doesn't click like that in my mind. Even if that is what it actually is the case. I like how I've just been sitting in the Dweller's Mask this entire time. Because it's just like, maybe they're going to throw in one of those platforms that I need to be in for. Because otherwise there's no platform in this area that's required to be other masks. Oh, there's some spiders now. They're, they're really mixing it up. Oh, that was scary. Oh, I want to go up there. I mean, it looks like you're supposed to continue on and go around, but I want to go up this way. Because, I don't know, it looks like I can. And I can! And it's a checkpoint. Uh, I wonder if you're, just, you're supposed to do this, or you're not supposed to. Oh, oh. Thank you. I was gonna say, you better kick me back. Up there? And where did you respawn me, game, thinking I was? Am I before the balloon problem again? This game, that's definitely not where I was. And see, that time, I tried the single jump, 
and it wasn't enough. I, I felt my dad. So, I don't know. I'm like, I don't need it for this one, because you can go a huge jump there. Thanks to the height and the fact that you get a dive. Also, I like that you can see in that like birdcage thing, you can still see that there is uh, a timepiece. Alright, we're back up here. Yeah, I guess the only one that might be helpful here is the spring cap. Uh, and we're sh not using the spring cap for this. No way, no how. That was scary. Oh, there's stuff up there. Huh. Well, that was nice to know. I don't trust myself to go up there, especially if I've already died uh, once in this part. See, that was that's an understandable point to cut me off. Not when I was trapped inside of uh, some of the geometry, and then just go. You know, oh, by the way, you've now. Like, look at that, I'm trapped in the geometry again, and then back up here. But this one, that makes sense. I guess I, I hit the right corner, so it counted as me um, further back than I was, oddly enough. Because I hit this checkpoint already. The point where I see it's not even showing up again. This game knows I hit this checkpoint. I stuck on this uh, camera view? Interesting. That's actually not the worst camera view for that. Uh, what? <laughs> it's another one of those... This could be done with a different angle and it would be easier. Alright, we're up. Oh, I am content now that we're here. Okay, at least it put me into this nice, uh, boxing nest. Oh no. If you're going to respawn me there. Ah, uh, you know, that's not that bad a spot. Like, we can see where we were going from here. So, I think I can live with uh, having to redo this part. Like, at least that's something I have to give them for these areas. There are times where it doesn't make sense where the, the um, uh, what do they call it? checkpoints are, and there are times where it makes perfect sense that that's where the checkpoint is. Like here. With a decent angle, look at that. We made that jump. First try that one. And we are up top to where the timepiece is. I mean, that felt like there's a lot that I should have cut there, but um, honestly, they timed things out pretty well. I think even though this one's going to be a longer one, half an hour, um, we've got a lot done. We have cleared the windmill. Thank you all for watching this part of the hat in time in the next part well i don't know these bulls seem to be getting angrier and angrier i think it's time we head towards uh not that one. never that one the bird cage thing the bird cage seems like an interesting place we're already in this area might as well see you guys then